All right. All right, Ted. What can I do for you? Nothing wrong with your motor, is it? No, nothing like that. Do you mind if I have a quick word with you? What's it about? Cathy. What's this girl? Yeah, well, I was having a chat with her in the cafe this morning. Oh, yeah? She seemed to have the weight of the world on her shoulders. Well, did she say why? No, she wouldn't let on. Yeah, well, to tell you the truth, she is beginning to feel the strain a bit, you know. Trouble with Cathy, she then I went and let up. I mean, she's on her feet all day in the cafe, and when she gets home, she's, she's running around after the four of us. Well, she shouldn't be yeah, doing I it know, not in her condition. I tried telling her, but what can you do? Well, maybe there is one thing we can do. Yeah? Don't worry, I'll sort it out. Leave it to me, Phil. Don't worry, Ricky. Not everything that happens in this place has got something to do with your dad. Morning. Hi, right, Blossom. Uh, one of those, please. That donut. Oh, you're so lucky. You don't have to watch your figure. Oh, she leaves that to everyone else, Blossom. This one turns out to be 60 pence, please. So I'll get it for her. Go on, put your money away. He won't get anything. I'll get it. Go on. But I only wanted to. I know what you wanted. Have you got one, David? Yes, thanks, Kat. Mum back yet? Uh, no, Where she's not. Oh. 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 All right, Ricky. Can't I buy you a pint, eh? No, I don't fancy it, thanks. Hello. You coming for your dinner? No, got some good news for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've been looking over the house and I reckon that me and the kids are just about ready to move. Oh, I thought you said you needed a couple more weeks. Yeah, well, we've done better than we thought. It's really looking good. So you don't have to put up with us any longer. What do you mean, put up with you? I like having you around. Yeah, well, we've enjoyed staying, but it's it's not fair on you and Phil and the baby. Has Phil said something? No. Don't even know yet. Oh, yeah, but there's no rush, Ted. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you can stay as long as you like. Look, Cathy, you can't hide anything from me. I'm your big brother, remember? What are you all about? Well, you and Phil. You're looking half dead with exhaustion. You need a break. Especially you in your condition. And it's going to get worse before it gets any better, right? OK? Settled. Mm. Same again. Might as well. What is it, work or women? Take more than work to get me plastered. Tell you what, I've had just about enough of Ricky. He hardly opens his mouth. You want to get him slaughtered, get him to loosen up a bit? Yeah, well, I've already thought that, but he won't have any of it. Seems to think I've got an ulterior motive for everything. <laughs> 